Hello everybody, this is Cap of Codeclism, and I would like to welcome you to the 15th video in my beginner C++ tutorial series. So you guys can probably guess by now that this video is going to be over encapsulation. So what is it? Well, encapsulation is basically putting data and methods in their own bubble. Now, you still want your users or yourself, you know, users being other people using your classes, to have access to what they need to have access to. But as a general rule, you should never just let them have access to your variables, or attributes in this case. You want it to go through some sort of channel so that you can control how they're accessing it. And I'll show you how to do that in the next video when we start getting into some coding. So I just wanted to refresh your guys' memory on access restriction. So once we group data and methods in a class, we can control access to them. So these circles here are actually supposed to be objects. So as you can see, this object here was denied access because it was trying to access a private attribute. And this object here was granted access because it was trying to access a public attribute. So this class wouldn't really be considered encapsulated because you have that public attribute there. And we don't really want public attributes because we have no control over how they're accessing them. So let's step out of the world of programming here and kind of imagine these three circles as islands. And it's our job to manage these islands. So as you can see, people are just kind of, it's just kind of a free for all. People are leaving and coming to islands in all sorts of different ways. You know, pulling up onto the beaches and causing all sorts of chaos. So if we let this continue, we're going to lose our jobs. So what do we do? Well, the solution would be to make ports on our islands to give people a way to come to and leave our islands in an orderly fashion. And not only that, but when they come into port and leave port, we can have them fill out any sort of paperwork we want. So we know when they got there, when they plan to leave, what they brought with them, and all that sorts of stuff. So it makes the process a whole lot easier. And I'll show you guys how to uh, implement this programming-wise in the next video. So something you guys need to remember is that if they can access it, they will. So if you leave something open and accessible, it will be accessed. And if, you, if values can be changed, they will be. So anything you leave public, you have to assume is going to be accessed. So when you guys are making your classes, don't just make something public because it's going to be easier on you and hope that you know someone doesn't access it in a certain way because eventually someone will and when they do it is going to come back to bite you so in the next video we're going to be improving upon our car class by making it a little bit more encapsulated so if you guys liked this video please let me know by hitting the like button and if you've watched a few of my videos and you've really liked them uh, please subscribe so that you can keep up to date on when we upload new ones so, I will see you guys in the next video.